What's up guys? Welcome to my channel, What You Cooking Roach. So, today we're gonna to be making Roach's Easy Chicken Enchiladas. All right, let's get started. All right guys, let's get started with the ingredients. All right, so now we're gonna start with the star of the show, hence making it easy chicken enchiladas. We have our already cooked rotisserie chicken. We're gonna shred that baby up and we also have our enchilada sauce, which I prefer to this brand here. Um, I like the way it tastes. You can also make your own enchilada sauce. And I'm gonna spice it up a little bit with some chili because I wasn't able to find any spicy uh, enchilada sauce. And we also have our onion chives, uh, our green onions. Um, these whole green onions I've already chopped up. We're going to use this to put on the top of the enchiladas when we cook them. This here, these chopped onions here, we're going to use when I shred the chicken and we're going to cook that a little bit to give it a little nice little flavor. And we also have our Mexican style four cheese blend um, cheese. You can use whatever you like, um, but this is the brand that I prefer to use. And I also have uh, my corn shells. I prefer to use corn because I like the way they taste better than the flour enchiladas. So this is what I'm going to be using. All right, guys. So now I'm going to shred my chicken. So I just kind of want to take it apart a little bit here. Now, again, hence being easy, I'm going to shred it all and keep it in this pan. And we're going to discard it and put bones and whatnot in here, OK? So some people like to keep the skin on it. I think today I'm going to try that and see uh, and see what that's like. Okay. All right, guys. So I've gone ahead and I've shredded up my chicken, and it looks really nice and it smells so good. My son wanted to get a little sample of it, but back to what we're doing. We're going to start by grilling um, our uh, onion first and put a little olive oil in there. I'm going to turn that up. Turn that on. And uh, a little bit more in there. Now, once I finish sauteing the onions, I'm going to add in the chicken and then we're going to start assembling it. And then once we start that process, then we're going to start by making Tortilla chips. All right, so let's get started with that. Just gonna take that a little bit. Now, I've been making enchiladas for some time, and um, we've been making different variations of it. Sometimes with ground beef, and sometimes with steak. But I prefer chicken. Okay. Add in. Our chicken. Okay. You can see what I'm doing. I'm blacking it. But you guys can see what I'm doing here. So put that in there. Now, that's a whole chicken. You can see that it's going to make at least 13, 14 gelatas. A little piece of that. I got to take that out. Right? I don't want to make, put any of that in there. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and sauteed my chicken with my onion for about yeah, about four or five minutes or so. Not too much. You don't want to dry out your chicken, okay? So what I do here is I add in a little extra sauce. Alright, I'm gonna put that in there. Coat it like that. Okay, not too much, just just enough. Coat it. And stir that baby up like so. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and I've, we've already did our meat and that's set aside so once we get the shells started then we can start assembling our enchiladas. But what we're going to do here is you want to fry your, oh it's popping in the hood. You want to uh, fry your tortilla chips just a tad bit. Now I'm using olive oil. So you don't, you just want to do it for a couple of seconds on each side, alright? Oh, oh. Alright, so we're gonna get it just a little 
not crispy and not, you know, just in the middle. It's hard to explain, but you'll see once I pull it out what it looks like. So this is what we want, all right? We just want a little wilty. See how we can wee wee that is? Now, I'm just let the grease drain off of it a little bit. And I have a package of, of uh, corn shells, which there are 12 in there. So we're gonna do that. Uh, continue this process. I'm going to do another one just to kind of show you guys how I do it. Now, like I said, once again, if you want to use flower shells, that's fine. I've, you know, I've seen people do that. You know, I've been to restaurants and that's what they use. Uh, funny story, there's a uh, local uh, Mexican restaurant in the neighborhood and Continue with the process. All right, guys. So I like to add a little bit of the enchilada sauce on the bottom of the pan, you know, to kind of even it, give it a little flavor there. And so we're going to put our enchiladas in there on top of that. Like so layer those in there. Like that. And here, oh boy, that's so good. They're nice and fat. That's how you make enchiladas. All right, guys. I've gone ahead and I've finished up um, putting, uh, rolling up my uh, enchiladas. They are ready to go. Now all we need to do now is we're going to put um, some of our remaining enchilada sauce on top. But first we're going to start um, with a little cheese. Um, now I'm using sharp cheddar cheese. I use the Mexican for cheese blend for the inside. Blend it with the chicken. Now we're going to use the cheddar. Roll that. I'm going to put a little bit of these green onion chives on the top. Like so. Always get that a generous helping there on top of there. Now we're going to add in our enchilada sauce. We're going to spread that on top here, okay? Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Okay, I'm just going to spread that on there like so. More. You just want to coat them with this sauce here, okay? And not all the way, because you want some of these ends to get a little crisp when they're baking in the oven there, okay? So we're just going to leave a yeah, little bit more there. Okay, now we're done. Now we're going to add a little more cheese on top. Sprinkle it on there like so. Just a little bit more. Let's keep in mind you got cheese inside of your enchiladas as well, so it's going to be a little chill. And just a few more of these little green onions here, okay? 
All right, so now we're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees temperature, and we're going to cook it for about 25 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Um, just kind of, you know, you don't want to overcook it and dry it out, all right? Alright y'all, our easy chicken enchiladas is ready. And I tell you, it smells like a little Mexican restaurant up in this mug. And my son is telling me I'm hungry, so hurry up and say what I got to say. <laughs> so, I wanted to say, while I was cooking my um, enchiladas, um, I mentioned you guys before that I made my own chips. It's very easy. All you guys do is just cut cut the um, tortilla chips and just fry, put it in the uh, oil and fry them. And I also have my homemade salsa. Um, if you guys like to know those uh, ingredients, how I make my salsa, it'll be in the description below. And also, I have my store-bought deli in there, um, my favorite Mexican store. They have their uh, Mexican rice and their beans, so we add it back to the plate as well, okay? So, with that being said, I want to say i like to thank everyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel and liked all my videos. And I look forward to bringing you more content. Until then, peace.